Hey, what's up everyone? So today I want to share with you my SSRI experience. A year ago today, I had another major depressive episode and I decided to go seek a doctor and start medication. And I was given SSRI. I was given um, Cetraline to begin and I eventually moved to Acetalopram. And so today in my one year anniversary, something that I celebrate myself and I am so grateful that you know I am where I am today, I thought it would be great for me to share this experience with you. Um, I would like to say that you know I am not a medical professional, I am just um, you know sharing my experience. I'm not gonna tell you like how this medication works or how it's gonna help you, but I just wanna share with you my experience about how it's like for me. And I am also not telling you that, you know, antidepressants is the way to go. It is what's gonna work for you. Depression works differently for everyone. And, you know, there are lots of methods of treatments out there. So please, you know, go ahead and do what you wanna do. I am just here to share my experience for those of you who are or who might be considering um, antidepressants but is not sure how it works or you know like it's just really curious about it so here you go <laughs> so my first depression episode actually started four years ago um, when I was still in university and at that time I was referred to the counselor in my university and eventually psychologist and I went to therapies I've learned like some you know coping mechanism I've you know gone into the past where you know where all the problem began and it helped it helped me a lot at that time of my life and I also learned that you know it's a whole lifestyle change that's going to help with my depression but eventually when my third episode came up again last year um, I I tried everything I tried to work out I tried to you know ask my friends out I tried to meditate I tried to eat healthy I tried to go to church I tried everything that I could do to keep myself mentally balanced I'd say like to try to keep my life balanced but I could still feel that dark cloud over casting me like you know just covering me and overwhelming me and drowning me and that was when I decided that you know maybe it's time for me to get into medication because like I've tried everything but it wasn't helping so that was how I decided that I want to start medication and how I got into it is I went to like the user doctor, like the normal family physicians that you know you would see. And I told the doctor that you know I have this problem and I had history and I need a referral letter to get into the hospital. And because of my history, it's easy that the doctor just gave me a referral letter right away. And so I was referred to the psychiatrist department of psychiatry department of the hospital. And then I went to see a doctor and I told the doctor my entire history about like, you know, everything. And the doctor uh, prescribed me medication. Um, the psychiatrist that I met was really nice. Um, I felt like she wasn't judgmental in like everything that I told her. And when she decided to prescribe me with antidepressants, she kind of briefly told me about like, you know, the different types of um, antidepressants there are. and. Um, the kind that she thinks is the best for me and why she thinks it's the best for me. So like she told me that SSRI might work for me and SSRI stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor which is the neuro... So like basically serotonin is the neurotransmitter in your brain that helps with mood stabilizing and what SSRI does is it keeps that neurotransmitter in my blood for a longer time period to help stabilizing my mood. So like the doctor told me that and it's easy for me to understand because I had a science background. So um, she told me about it and she said that you know we're gonna start with Cetraline which is a kind of SSRI with um, I believe 5 milligram, which is a really low dosage you know for two weeks and she's gonna see me again and we are going to see how it works I think it's for two weeks I forgot if it's two weeks or one week um, but it's about that like she gave me a low dosage and she's gonna see me in a really you know short time and I was like okay um, keep in mind that I went to a doctor where 
I was at a phase of my life where I felt so dark, I felt so alone, I felt so so fatigued. I I was like, you know, I was not feeling it. I was crying a lot. I was I was at a really dark place. And the thing about <coughs> sorry. <coughs> okay. So the thing about antidepressant is it comes with side effects and different drugs have different side effects and the doctor prescribed me SSRI because um, she told me that it's the one with the least um, side effects so I was warned about it and I was fully aware about it and keep in mind that you know the time that I went to see the doctor was also the time that I felt the worst I felt like I, I had no hope anymore so I felt I already felt really negative about the entire experience and the side effect made it worse okay um, but the doctor did tell me that it's normally like the adaptation phase that your body needs to get used to and eventually it will be better the first two days was like bad I felt really nauseous I felt really drowsy and for some reason I don't know it does something to my jaw where I just kept feeling like oh I couldn't stop yawning which is so weird like I, I would just like <sighs> for all, like the entire day to the point where my jaw hurts okay it does something to my jaw because eventually the yawning went away but I had to like I felt the need to chew straws like even because even gums weren't helping like, I had to chew straw to like feel better about it it does something to my jaw um, so there was the side effect I went back to the doctor after like you know a week or two and I told the doctor everything about it like it made me really drowsy nauseous but like after a week it kind of wears off um, except for that jaw thing where I had to keep chewing straw to make me feel better about my jaw and um, the doctor was like okay seems like it's working let's up the dosage to 10 milligram and that's what I did and um, again because the dosage was increased the side effect kind of came, came back again for like another week and eventually it wears off again and then so like you know remember that I told you that I was feeling really terrible at that time already and having and starting all this antidepressants it made my depression worse I'm not going to lie um, it it felt like I was already in a hole that's so dark and I felt even deeper because the whole the entire experience is just so terrible like I've already felt so dark and lonely and everything and then I felt nauseous and then I felt drowsy and then I couldn't stop yawning and like my jaw just keeps wanting to chew something like it was annoying and you know I had to keep telling myself mentally that it's the medication doing it and I have to be patient because the doctor did tell me that it's gonna take like maybe two to four weeks to to take effect to be effective to see we to start seeing results and for me I think it took three to four weeks I think it was at the third week that I finally found the strength to do my laundry I know this sounds funny but at that stage when I was so depressed I couldn't do any chores for myself uh, my room was a huge mess but at the third week I think I managed to wake up one day and decide that okay I can do laundry today and I think to me that was the first victory that I saw in myself um, so I would say that you know <clears throat> Let's just like wrap up my first month of antidepressants. So I started sertraline 5 milligram for like a week or two and then I increased to 10 milligrams and initially it got worse So so much worse that you know, ugh, I want to give up but I'm like no, I'm gonna you know trust this medication and see if it works and After the third to fourth week like I think one month when I see a doctor again I told the doctor that you know I think I'm starting to see results I think I'm feeling better so I kept taking this medication for the next you know really long time I did eventually up my dosage to 20 milligram I believe I forgot it's like is it in hundreds or is it in you know let me just check I'm sorry because I, I mixed up the different medications so like I started with Cetraline on 50 milligram 
for like the first few weeks and then eventually I add my dosage to like 75 milligram and eventually 100 milligram um, because like it helped but it didn't help to the point where I felt like I'm fully myself so um, I told the doctor about it it's okay but I was also at a stage where I actually quit my job to go home to rest so like at, during like the half year or so that I was under Cetraline I was actually still feeling really sleepy a lot and like if I were to take this medication when I'm working I think you know I wouldn't be as productive as I could so like after like maybe the half year mark I I I felt like I want to start you know getting back out there to the workforce and that's and I told the doctor about it but the sleepiness does bother me a lot so I change my medication to where's the box to acetalopram so that was when i switched to acetalopram because the cetraline was still making me kind of sleepy and drowsy although like i was functional but i feel like i wouldn't be really functional enough to go back to work because i'm gonna get so sleepy and like you know want to sleep in the office so the doctor prescribed me acetalopram instead and um Weirdly enough, when I started acetalopram with 10 mg, I did not, I don't think I felt any side effect at that time. And I actually felt less sleepy. I don't know if it's because I got used to the increased, like, you know, serotonin level in my blood. That is why there's not much side effects. But um, it does, you know, work out well. And, you know, eventually I just kept, I just kept taking this until today. And so it's been a year since I took <coughs> my voice. Uh, and so it's been a year since I took SSRIs. And you might be wondering, like, uh, so are you gonna stop it? So the last session that I saw my doctor, which is like two months ago, or a month, which is like a month ago, um, I told the doctor that I'm, you know, feeling myself, and I'm finally at the stage where I'm back at work. I am back at that productivity level that I used to have. Um, I am facing stress, but I am doing really well. Like, I'm handling it alright. And I feel like <clears throat> I might be ready to stop my antidepressant. And the doctor was, you know, happy, was really happy for me for like, you know, being at the stage where I am. Although I am quite scared too because like, I'm really afraid that I'm so functional because the medication is doing its job, which it really is. But I was also afraid that if I stop it, then like I might start having symptoms again. So like you see, there is that dependency on the medication, but I did tell the doctor about it. And the doctor was, you know, really supportive. She's really happy that I'm doing way better now. Um, but but because of my long history in depression it's not it's not because that you have to depend on this medication for the rest of your life but it's because that i have a long history so i started having my first depression episode in like i said four years ago and um i had three episodes within that three year span of time so the doctor was saying that for someone like me with you know, a longer history and also like multiple episodes, it's better for me to take the medication for a longer period of time, sometimes two to three years. So at the end of it, we both come into agreement that because I just started a new job and I'm at a new environment, um, I'm going to continue the dosage that I kept. I've been taking, which is 10 milligram of acetalopram. And after six months of this, um, I'm going to reduce like you know if everything goes well i'm going to reduce my dosage to five milligram uh, for i don't know how much time i'm gonna wait for my doctor to tell me and then eventually go off that because um during this period of time i did try to stop the medication myself i know it's something really stupid you should never do it um so like i stopped taking it for like a week and i you know i think it's the sudden stop um because i didn't like you know reduce the dosage and like you know slowly get off it because I just stop it like that for like a week and I felt terrible <clears throat> because my body is just not used to like the change in the neurotransmitter level 
So yeah, um, I that's my plan. I plan to get off the medication, um, maybe in this year, but it's going to be a gradual process. Um, doctor don't uh, my doctor doesn't want to rush it, and I personally like because it's been working for me so much. Like so, I don't want to rush it either. Like as much as I'm so happy with where I am today, um, I do know that depression is a long-term problem, and it's you know it's there to stay if I don't take good care of it. So I'm just gonna listen to my doctor, trust what she says, and hopefully at the end of this year when I get off it, I'll still be fine. <clears throat> so I think that's pretty much it. That's my um, antidepressant experience. Um, I hope it helps with you. Um, I know the words are like you know all over the place, but I think taking you on the chronological order might help with like understanding my experience and hopefully it gives you an idea about how it's like. Um, honestly, SSRIs, what it does is it just helps you to get back to to a neutral point. It doesn't boost your like endorphins to make you happy or you know things like that. So it still comes down to the point where it just brings you back to neutral and it's your own effort and it's your own work to find happiness in your life. Okay, it just makes it easier for me to to work hard to find back that happiness or to get back to my normal point. It's not a drug that makes me happy. It's not a drug that just, you know, gets rid of like the darkness in you. It's you know, it just brings you back to neutral. That's that's how I always describe it. Which is why I feel fine with taking SSRIs. Cause like there is this misconception from a lot of people that antidepressant is like, you know, happy pills and you get dependent on it. But not it doesn't really work that way. Um, not that I know. Um, I think that would be ecstasy. <laughs> For those of you who are watching this video because you are not feeling you and you are considering medication, um, I hope you know you'll find a light soon. Don't give up. I've been there many times. I know it's not easy, but but you'll get through it. Just keep in mind that you know it could be the hormones, it could be certain issues that is buried back in your mind that's causing you that. It's, it's not you, it is the depression, it is that, you know, mental illness that is talking to you. Um, whatever negative things that you have in your mind, fight it. It's not you. Just know that it's not you and you will see the light if you don't give up. And you know, I don't want to tell you what to do, but <clears throat> I hope that you will find the strength to be more proactive and to find the courage to really just, you know, accept the fact that there is something wrong and try to go seek help. Um, I'm going to try to find for like, you know, different resources and leave it at the description box below, um, suicide hotlines or like, um, websites and you know coping strategies like I'll try to get those and put them in a description um, box below and if you are thinking of getting medication you know go for it go see a doctor and talk to him about it let her about it and try to understand how it works and I hope you find your way out okay um, I'm I'm happy that I'm doing this I'm proud of myself that I'm talking about my depression so openly and sharing about my experience and I hope that I get to do more of this in the future. So let me know below if you want you know, specific topics um, about depression or about mental health, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and you know, give it a thumbs up. and. That's pretty much it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, and before I go, I just want to show you guys my drug box. 
collection. I always just like throw all of my medication boxes here even though I'm done. Um, because I know that one day I'll be taking this video and I just want to show you guys like it's been a while. It's been a journey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye.